attention. I just want to address the exposure that we're getting today uh, on Net News Ledger. Net News Ledger is our, our promoter, our videographer. Uh, what are what are you, James? We're online news. Online news. Net online news, news Ledger. Online new, news and information. And we will. Uh, this is being broadcast right now, live. People can um, go to their, the URL that, um, that James likely has up on his website somewhere uh, to attach to this and take a look at the events of today online. So we'll get a report back from James later, from Net News Ledger later, on how many eyes and how many computers have been looking at this event today. So the audience here isn't the only audience that will be seeing you. And that's not to put pressure on our next contestant. It's just information. Um, the whole broadcast will be available in the future. And uh, there will be some version of it uh, made available to Shaw and probably pay it, played on the local channel in the future. Uh, and uh, Net News Ledger will make you av uh, aware of that. Now, our next contestant is uh, Katrina Simony. She's from Winston Churchill High School, and uh, she's going to talk to us about her Shalit Hockey School. Okay. Um, hello, my name is Katrina, as he just said. Um, my business is called the Shelit Hockey Schools. It's not working. Do I have to point it somewhere? Oh, there we go. Um, actually, I'm going to start with a story first. Um, so I've been playing hockey since the age of five. Um, these most past few years, it's come to my attention that hockey's a lot about the politics nowadays. Um, an example of that is this past year, um, a coach from a couple years ago decided to start up a new hockey team. It was an all-girls regular season hockey team. Um, so as that team started to come together, um, we went to the Ontario Women's Hockey Association for a sanction, which means we can not only practice, obviously, but we can participate in regular season hockey games. We can go on tournaments whenever we wish to. Um, they would not sanction us, so all they really did was leave a group of wonderful, wonderful girls to have to practice all season, which is what I had to participate in. Um, that's the main reason why I'm so passionate about this business is because I don't, I don't feel like girls have um, the opportunity that they should when it comes to hockey. So hockey's changing, and I feel as if the demand for it is increasing. Um, Shelit Hockey Schools is um, provides week-long hockey camps throughout the year. Um, we are committed to um, making sure girls ages from the 6 to 15 are engaged both on and off the ice and um, are able to improve their skills in a fun, safe way. Um, my company will hire eight other girls, obviously girls with um, years of experience. Um, and I also have a coach or a mentor lined up um, to provide parents with that mind of ease that there's going to be not only teenage girls running this camp, but there's also going to be a coach. Oh. Oh, OK. Um, this hockey school will be um, ages 6 to 15, but the ages will be split up, so everyone will get dropped off between 8, or eight and 9 in the morning. Um, but ages 6 to 10 will first go, will go on the ice. So when the ages 6 to 10 are on the ice, um, 11 to 15 will be off ice doing dry land, off ice activities, team building activities. Um, everyone will obviously have change in snack times. Um, lunch will not be provided because I feel as if like there's 
having to deal with all the finding out the allergies and all that is just they can just bring their own lunch um, so then you don't have to take any risks and that's just the ages 11 to 5 so when 6 to 10 are on ice they're off etc Um, my mission as a business is to provide girls from the ages 6 to 15 with the opportunity to enhance their hockey skills um, and become a team player all in a safe, inclusive uh, environment. Um, so this business would be run by me um, as well as eight other girls, as I said before, that will be hired as staff. Um, so the girls are provided with the best encouragement and assistance possible and as well as um, the coach or mentor. He has, his name is Dave Paddington. He is um, a High Performance One Coaching Certification. He has um, volunteered to take part in this, so cost free, um, to be a mentor, guest speaker, help on ice and off ice. Um, I'll be purchasing the liability cost of $750 to diminish any risks taken on or off the ice. Um, and that will provide $5 million worth of liability insurance. Um, so say if a girl happens to break her ankle skating, then it covers up to $5 million if she's looking to get money from it. Um, so I contacted the Hockey Northwestern Ontario Association. And um, I was informed that this past season there were 477 girls that signed up for um, minor hockey. So that makes the demand for um, more opportunities really high. Um, there's only one other girls hockey school that is offered in the summer. Um, it's the Katie Weatherston camp. Um, but she's only offered one week in the summer, that's it. So. That's not a lot of opportunities, especially for 477 girls. So my target market is um, parents with daughters ages 6 to 15 that um, play hockey, um, and parents seeking childcare for the non-school times of the year. Uh, my business will be run for four weeks during, throughout the summer, uh, one week March break and one week Christmas break. Um, so if parents have to work, they drop their daughter off in the morning and they pick them up after work and they don't have to worry about anything in between that. And people living in Thunder Bay or the surrounding area, if somebody in Nipikin wants to come, then sure, if the parents are willing to drive, then why not? So um, because there's only one other all-girls hockey school, she's the Katie Weatherston Cap is my key competitor. Um, her strengths is she's well established, she has an online presence, she has a good reputation, she's also Olympic gold medalist. Um, a weakness is younger children might not know her, they might go based off the fact that they know she has a gold medal. It was 10 years ago, so maybe they're just you know, relying on that. Um, and she only runs one week in the year in Thunder Bay. Um, so opportunities for me would be the March break, the Christmas, and four weeks in the summer. And a threat would be maybe she is willing or wants to open more camps in Thunder Bay. Um, there's another key competitor. This is um, a girls and boys uh, hockey camp, though. It's not strictly for girls. It's called the Core Hockey. Um, Strengths are just as the Katie Weatherston camp. They have a good reputation, online presence. Um, but their weaknesses is there's mostly boys as the customers um, and mostly men as instructors. So the opportunities are girls that are play hockey that are willing to, or wanting to um, look for a place where they feel safe. Like I know if a couple years ago, I wouldn't have wanted to go to a boys hockey camp because I would have felt too much pressure and that. Um, so threats are that um, very good, very good boy hockey players attend that hockey camp. Um, so maybe the parents are pushing their their daughters to go to that camp because they think it'll improve their skills even more than just a strictly girls hockey camp. 
So the location, I have two locations set up. Uh, one is the Thunder Bay uh, Tournament Center. Um, that is perfect for, especially for the off ice um, dry land because there's plenty of space and it provides a field in the back so we can go outside. And the First Nations Arena as it provides me with a gym that is obviously plenty of space for dry land. So my marketing strategy is poster advertisements. Um, they will be put up in local businesses, um, obviously put up in all of the hockey arenas throughout Thunder Bay. Um, social media, I have a website it's currently under construction. I'm not really close to done that, but um, also there'll be online registration on the website. Um, a Facebook and Instagram page will be created. and. Um, I was gonna, thinking of making a partnership with um, coaches from other teams and they could send out kind of um, a huge email to all their past players or parents that have played hockey so everybody starts to get the word as it spreads. So the startup cost of my business is $950. That includes um, pucks, pylons, um, an iPad and a power shot sensor. A power shot sensor um, measures the speed and force of the girl's shot, um, but it also measures like the amplitude, so it can tell you um, just how fast your execution is, and it can help you have that extra information on um, how to improve your shot. Oh, okay. So we will charge $300 per athlete um, per week. Um, each camp is five days long. It will be run for a total of six weeks uh, throughout the year. Um, so because the two different age groups, it opens up opportunity for 50 girls per week because 25 will be on ice, or 20, yeah, 25 will be on ice, 25 will be off. So it's not 50 girls all on the ice at one time. So that increases our, my revenue. Um, so 20 skaters per camp, but that's 40 skaters per day. Okay, I messed up somewhere in there. Um, I will have eight employees, at, I will pay them $20 each per hour. And I will require uh, two and a half hours um, on ice, which is $155 um, dollars per hour. And the break even point is 33 athletes. Income statement. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I appreciated that you looked into liability insurance. Um, it was one of my questions and you brought that up really, really early on. And I also appreciated that when you presented that when things went wrong, you really calmly fixed that. 
not everyone could do that. A lot of people would be flustered. I know there's times I would be flustered if tech went awry. So I appreciate that in your presenting skills. Um, one of the things that I wanted to suggest is at the local library, they have something called P Census. And when you're looking at marketing and how to find those people through uh, social media, um, that is one of the ways that you can easily find your market and cut down on the amount of time it's going to take you to reach everyone. Thank you. Okay, I liked your idea, good presentation. Um, I'd like you to maybe think about adding more to it a little bit, like in ways of like if you could invent or create new camps, like say you made like a conditioning camp or a strength camp, mm -hmm. or you like, because you have like the girls hockey camp, if you added some more things onto that to expand it, I think that would help you a lot. Um, other than that, maybe if you could like do things like sell shirts to help brand your camp to the girls or whatever when they go to your camp, if they then have shirts that have your name on it and all this stuff. Um, and other than that, maybe if you could partner with people like the medalist and people you're talking about, other influential women, if they would volunteer to come into the camps to make it more exciting and entertaining. And other than that, I think you have a good idea. Like maybe you're a little high on the wage end of things for the amount of money you'll be pulling in, but you know, just move ahead. And I think it's a good idea. Thank you. Thanks, Katrina. Um, well, it looks like you, you found the market that's just being barely touched, right? There's only one other event that's happening. It's just, uh, it seems pretty, you know, exclusive. It's only one week a year, and, and there's more people than spots available. Um, so, so you found the market that you, that you think there be, you'd have a ability to tap into a bigger market share. Um, as a father of two girls, um, I, I like the idea that um, that you're going to be able to provide a fun and an active, healthy event. I really like the idea that you've you also found the niche of non-school times. You know, March break, Christmas break, not just you know summer camp in the middle of August when everyone's busy anyway. So you found those other times. So I think that was really well thought out. Thank you. Thank I just you. have one other thing too, sorry. I, just, I, I was actually very impressed um, and proud that you found a mentor. I think that's really important mm -hmm. when you do business. Um, I, I know Dave and he's uh, not only the deputy fire chief, but he's been involved in hockey and was a really competitive hockey player as well for going to university and, and also played for the Flyers. So I, I think that was a really, really good thing that you did and he'll give you a lot of insight and, and probably actually help you grow your business just by you know, his presence and his, uh, his recognition. So good job. Thank you. Taking my daughter to cheerleading things like that or something to pay money. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I've seen. Like, 